good morning everybody from my bedroom window it is Christmas morning and I have just woken up <laughs> can't believe I'm doing this I've got to roast some potatoes because I'm going to mum's today for lunch and the kids will be with me for the first half of the day and then they're heading over to their dad's this afternoon and then they'll be with him for the next couple of weeks and then with me for the following couple of weeks and then it's back to work so yeah that's that but have a wonderful wonderful christmas day if you celebrate christmas and if you don't have a wonderful sunday anyway okay so i'm in the kitchen two of my kids are still in bed my other one my firstborn firstborn terrorist is at his girlfriend's house so i'm hoping he comes around this morning has not informed me anyway boys they just don't communicate thumbs up if you experience the same thing this morning, um, we're just going to warm up some croissants and just have like a little croissant and a cup of coffee or something for breakfast. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring some honey mustard roasted potatoes to mum's for lunch. She's doing lunch. So yesterday I bought some of these baby charisma potatoes. Now, you might have them by a different name, but these ones have less carbs. I love potatoes potatoes in any form uh, but I try to buy these and use these as much as possible these are good for boiling and mashing what I'm going to do is parboil them in my pot and then I'm going to squish them on a tray and then roast them with a fair bit of oil not gonna lie and then um, drizzle over them melted honey and mustard and Parmesan. And I don't buy the grated parmesan, I buy the shredded, so it's like little bits, you know. And, um, and I, I need fresh rosemary, which I don't have any herbs in my garden. I have to get on top of that. But I'll get some rosemary from Mum's garden when we get there. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. Many of you will know uh, Lisa Loves Bags uh, on Instagram and of course also on YouTube and every year she's so generous to me she sends me chocolates or sweets and coffee for my birthday and I love this coffee so this year for my birthday she sent me a packet of chocolate macadamia coffee god it's amazing it smells like liqueur so this is going to be my Christmas morning coffee once the kids wake up, I'm going to wear, and I'm going to wear this today, my little Christmas hat. Does this not look cute? Is this not Christmas hat for Tanya? This is very much a me Christmas hat. So, <laughs> there you go. So yeah, you can do the Santa stuff, but you can sort of like, you know, Pack it up a little bit, why not? Just waiting on the kids to wake up. <laughs> Having some water first thing in the morning. I'm going to get the tray ready now so that I can lay out all the potatoes and then squish them down and then they go back in the oven with a fair bit of oil. I mean, yeah, you need oil with the potatoes, there's no way around it. Either that or duck fat, and I'm not going to use duck fat, so oil it is. I've taken the easy way out. I haven't made them. I haven't made these before in the past. The amount of effort that goes into making them, I just don't have it in me. And I've just bought these from one of our supermarkets, Coles, from the bakery section. They're not great. You know, they're not like the nice bakery store-bought ones. Should have bought it some from my brother's bakery, but at the same time, they're nice for this morning. Something light, because clearly we're gonna have a very, very heavy lunch. Um, and what I'm just gonna do is, going to drizzle a little bit of like melted butter on them and I'm going to pop them in the oven just on a low heat for a little while or there we go it's a bit better I've got you propped up on my toaster on my tripod so I'm just going to scoop out some butter put it in a little bowl warm it up I'm going to have to use a spoon just drizzle a little bit on So 
there you can see I just just put a little light glazing of melted butter on top sometimes I like I like to add just a little pinch of salt so just just a teeny tiny salt makes everything better thumbs up if you agree with that you need to add salt to your rice when you're cooking it and you need to add little, add salt to your pasta people who have rice and pasta without salt you're missing out you're missing out you need to cook your pasta and your rice with some salt now when I say salt I don't mean a lot but depending on how much you're cooking um, say like the potatoes I'm going to add some salt to that um, it might be a teaspoon depending on the quantity of course you know the you know, just the slightest amount and I use the Himalayan salt very important to make sure that these are completely cooked through so then when you put them on the tray you can squish them easily um, these are called I think they're called smashed potatoes um, because if they're still firm then you, you just can't squish them enough and they won't break up enough uh, and the breaking up process is what makes them even more crispy when you cook them in the oven okay potatoes are cooked so I'll show you I still haven't made my coffee can you believe it anyway oh, rude um, once you can pierce them easily and they come out easily, especially the big ones, then you know that they're cooked. Easy. Okay, so now it's time to take them out, pop them on the tray, and um, squish them. Okay, ideally, you should use one of those square spatulas like, and not the silicon ones. I have a silicon one, but it's too soft. You need something metal, so I'm just going to use this. This is where the fun comes in. Ooh, see, because they're cooked, it squishes easily. So squish, squish. Now, naturally, they'll spread out, so you, you need to leave enough room. I've probably put too many, but we'll see how we go. And they're supposed to look messy and haphazard and, you know, Smashed, basically. Don't be scared of the oil. This is olive oil. So, I mean, it's a good fat. I mean, oil, oil is oil is fat. We know that. But it's, you know, you need to. And it's Christmas Day and you just need to use some oil on potatoes. And potatoes really need the oil to get crispy. And I'll sprinkle some black pepper now, some rosemary, dried rosemary leaves. Rosemary and potatoes go beautifully together. Um, nutmeg would also go well, but because I'm going to add honey and mustard later, um, and a little bit of butter, or maybe I'll use some oil, uh, you don't need to add nutmeg or anything like that. It would, it would clash in flavors. I'm going to cook them on 175 degrees Celsius and uh, with the fan on while I'm waiting for the kids to wake up and uh, once they're awake then we will have our croissants and open the gifts I'm waiting for Samuel to arrive around about 11 from Jackie's house and then we can do our Christmas morning but I need to make my coffee now yeah I'm feeling it I need it now <laughs> Cheers to you, Lisa. So good. So good. It's time to 
time to wake up the kidlets. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, my camera's blurry. Gotta fix that. Babes. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. Merry Christmas. He's up. He's awake. He's awake. I've got to get the cat out too. Chich. Chich. Morning. Merry Christmas. Morning, Chica. Chich. Chica, wake up. It's Christmas morning. It's 10.30. Sammy will be here about 11. Let's let the cat out. Because cat lives in the laundry overnight. Hello, cat. We've all been introduced to Nala. Nala is Talia's cat. She comes round. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, as I was saying, the cat comes to my house every second week when the kids come or when Talia comes. The cat really sort of Talia's, but really it's because of her dad. But um, yeah, so I'm going to get dressed and then I'm going to do a very quick outfit of the day video. I don't think I'll do a get ready with me because, you know, ain't nobody got time for that. And you don't want to spend your time watching me put a little bit of makeup on my face because I don't put a lot. Okay, welcome. Welcome to the Christmas outfit of the day video. So the last you saw probably would have been my potatoes, <laughs> not, not my, my potatoes. <laughs> the potatoes that I was cooking this morning. Anyway, I've decided to go with um, almost a monochrome look today. And I am wearing just this very simple cotton wraparound dress. I did buy it in a size bigger so that it, <laughs> so that it would just drape nicely. Um, it does have one of those press studs here. Yep, I'm just doing a video here. But it, um, it's in the wrong spot because it still pulls, even though I've gone a size bigger. So I have to readjust it. And I've just blow waved my hair straight. So with my hair, you know, I've got sort of that copper theme going. And I'm going with these beautiful orange uh, heels that I bought from Zara just the other day. And I think they're very sweet. And my left leg has been completely demolished and eaten by some bug the other night. Given that it's Christmas in the festive spirit, I have decided to top off the orange with a red cap, little Christmas sequin hat. And on my face, what I have is just basically some BB cream like I usually do. Actually, no, not today, I've just got sunscreen and I've got um, some bronzer on and I've gone with the copper on the eyelids and like a duochrome blue-green in the lower lid, lower waterline and that's it. And my jewelry is what I have been wearing the last few days. So that's gonna be my Christmas look, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. I will probably touch base with you later on in the day in my food coma. Let's see how that goes. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye. Hello, everybody. Well, here I am, true to form, very much in a food coma. Um, I have some sad news. So kids have gone to their dad's house and they will do their next couple of weeks with their dad. Um, so I was thinking, my thinking this morning was, I said to the kids, get all your stuff, pack all your stuff, we'll bring everything to my mum's house while we have lunch there and everything, we'll bring the cat as well, and the cat can stay in the carrier in a separate room, you know. Anyway, long story short, there was a family member who was scared of the cat, the family member was allergic to the cat, so we left the cat outside. There was a miscommunication, should have been left maybe inside in a separate room. Basically the cat got out and the cat's missing now. And I feel guilty because it was my idea to bring the cat to mum's. Because I just thought then the kids could just collect their stuff from my mum's house and then go to their dad's. And I just thought it would be easier overall. Now the cat's gone. A horrible feeling. So the cat's not microchipped because, well, long story. The cat has been wearing a collar with its name and a contact number on it for ages, but not today. Oh, it's just one of those, you know, this is a case of one of those series of unfortunate events, you know, and my daughter's, you know, because sort of the cat was hers, but my two of my kids are upset about it I feel upset because I'm feel guilty about it as well and I just hope a kind soul finds this cat and 
takes it to the local council pound or I don't know, I don't know what to do. So we did the door knocking this afternoon, walking up and down the street, calling out for the cat. I feel horrible. It's like a real, it's a, a real, what's the word, dampener, is that the word? On Christmas, because it was actually quite a nice day, despite the fact that it's stinking hot today. I feel horrible. But anyway, um, see how we go. Uh, Talia and her brother will go back to my mum's later on tonight and do some more calling out for her. And they left out her litter box, so maybe the familiar smell may draw her there. And maybe Talia's familiar voice may also draw her there. But I don't know. I feel terrible. What a way to end this vlog. Huh? Um, yeah. That. really sad but anyway I will keep you updated if there's any better more positive news so this is vlogmas not vlogmas Christmas day 2022 take care everybody God bless and I'll see you next time